Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing or more just kind of showing off some various briars I've gotten in the past two months. And for some reason these models just never made it into any other videos yet. Also in this video I have a very special unboxing that isn't briar related but it is horse related and it is two artist prints from Sasha Ferris who is a lovely artist from Instagram that does amazing horse artwork. She very kindly sent two of her prints for me to review in this video here and I can't wait to open them up and look at these beautiful pieces in person. Let's get to unboxing. All right now here they are and I'll show you both of them in detail here and the backs of them. These are just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Before we get a closer look at these I do want to flip them over to the back real quick because I saw there's some nice beautiful packaging going on here. So here is the back of one of them. Includes a nice little sticker with all of the places where you can reach her. There's also a nice little section here about the series that this artwork came in but first let me actually take off the plastic because it does create a lot of glare. So this is for this gorgeous piece. It says Horse Majesty Collection, 12 acrylic paintings painted on canvas. The names of the paintings in this collection were chosen to encourage and inspire. This collection includes Be Bold, Be Courageous, Be Colorful, Dream Big, which is the one I have here, Make a Wish, Come Fly With Me, Dance With Me, Be Kind, Discover, Imagine, and Enjoy Every Moment. It is my hope that you are encouraged and inspired by this art. Sasha Ferris. Up here at the top, there's also a little envelope. Let's take a peek see inside here. Ooh, shiny. Very fancy and shiny. And I'm sorry, my camera setup does not show the full length of these things very well. I apologize for that. Ah, it's the beautiful Certificate of Authenticity, and it is so shiny and gorgeous. Here it gives the information on this first edition titled Dream Big size 8 by 12 which I think I forgot to mention these are both 8 by 12 sized prints this is number 4 of 30 the date is 2019 and it has the artist's signature and a really amazing seal which you can hopefully see there it's got really beautiful red glitter I do love me some glitter so when you get one of these beautiful prints you'll also be getting a very high quality certificate of authenticity to go with it Here's the print out of the plastic so I can get a better look without the glare of my ring light. Oh my goodness, it is so beautiful and it is of course on very nice high quality paper. We'll get a closer look here. As you can see, it is very detailed. I love the beautiful star galaxy space background going on. And the horse on here is just magnificent. It looks so realistic. It looks like you could just jump right out of the picture. It is amazing. Oh my goodness. Like, look at that eye. That eye looks so real and lifelike. Just beautiful. You can see all the hair detail on the horse's ear and its face. All those little bitty hairs that really give it that lifelike look and texture and its nose also looks very soft and look at that beautiful detail of the mottling going on. I also love this little section of the background here with some really pretty twinkling stars and like a nebula galaxy looking thing going on there. And on the corner it does say Sasha Ferris 2017 4 of 30. So there is that first beautiful artwork. This next one which I will show you without the plastic in a minute is a really gorgeous one of a Frisian horse with jellyfish which goes along with another thing I really enjoy which is the ocean. Now this particular piece is from the Glass Horses collection which is 12 paintings painted on acrylic glass. In this collection I am painting works that remind me of beautiful memories that I have and would like to share with others. This set of works is not completed at this time. It is the current project I am working on. This collection includes Secret Garden, Winds of Change, Summer Dream, and Seahorse. Now this particular one is Seahorse. I think it is very cool that this collection is based on her own memories. One of the great things about art is being able to visually share your emotions and feelings and memories, whatever it is that you want to share with the world. So I think that is really awesome. Again, we have this very nice way that the Certificate of Authenticity is presented here. 
Once again, it'll give the information on the print. The title of this one is Seahorse, size 8 by 11, number 7 of 30, and the date is 2021. Again, there's the artist's signature and the gorgeous glitter seal. Now here is the Seahorse print, and it is just gorgeous. As you can see, we got some beautiful jellyfish surrounding this Frisian with its hair all whooshy and wavy in the water. Let's pull in for a closer look. I love the texture that is going on in the background of the picture. It looks like shiny, crinkly, papery kind of look to give that really neat ocean look. You can see those little jellyfish and of course that gorgeous mane. I love the flow of it in the water, how it's just all over the place. It looks amazing. Kind of looks like the horse had just jumped straight into the water. I love that little bitty jellyfish by its ear. Then the horse's face is once again just gorgeous and so realistic. Those eyes yet again are amazingly gorgeous and realistic. I love all the beautiful highlights on the face as well and on the muzzle. There are a couple little bubbles here and there too to give again that really neat ocean watery look and more of those jellyfish. I also like that there's some jellyfish kind of less prominent that look like they're in the background a little bit deeper into the water gives some really nice depth to this picture. And on the bottom left corner, it again has the artist's signature, date and edition number. So very, very stunning. Sasha also sent an additional print here, which is gorgeous. This particular piece is called Heavenly Horse. As you can see, it is a magnificent Pegasus with this beautiful heavenly cloud gold themed background, which is just amazing looking. I also love the wings. They're kind of translucent, which gives a really neat look. And yet again, the horse on here is just amazing. It looks so realistic and beautiful. This is a very neat little addition. Thank you, Sasha, for including this. I seriously love this artwork. You can check out Sasha Ferris's art at ferrishorses.com. I will also include the link to her website in the description down below. She has lots of different prints for sale. And according to her website, she does also do portrait commissions. So you can even commission her to get a portrait of your own horse. Prints like these also make really great, unique gifts to give to people. I personally can't wait to put these up in my horse room whenever I get that renovated. That's still something, unfortunately, that's gonna take me a while to get finished. But whenever I do, I can't wait to hang up these beautiful pieces. Now we'll move on to some various buyer models I haven't shown you yet that I've gotten within the past two months. I'll first show the last two Stablemate Club releases for 2020. The sixth release in the Briar Stablemate Club, Cassidy, which is on a new mold sculpted by Maggie Bennett. And then the seventh optional release, which is this little Clydesdale stallion called Duke and he is kind of a vintage throwback model. Cassidy here is amazing. I actually love her a lot more than I thought I was going to. I liked her when I saw the pictures of her, but I wasn't super crazy about her yet. I wasn't even that crazy about her when she was in her box, but once I unboxed her, I was like, oh my goodness, I love this sweet little mare. She's got some really awesome Appaloosa patterns, and again, I'm pretty impressed by the quality of detail that Briar is able to do now on their stable mates that are mass produced like this. She's just got a wonderful pattern. And I love that her mane and tail actually also have shading too. It's not just one solid color. There is like little stripings of a little bit lighter and darker shades of color. And the same kind of goes for her tail. Her tail's not quite as shaded in the way her mane is. It's more just a little bit of shading here and there, but it still looks really cool. I also love this mold and I love that she's kind of chunky. She's like, she doesn't necessarily look like she's pregnant or fat necessarily, but she's a pretty well-rounded uh, stock horse. She's just very, very cute. And I can't wait to see what other models Briar ends up putting out on this mold. It's also a little hard to show with this lens I'm using, but she also does have mottling on her face around her muzzle, which is a really amazing little detail. This is definitely one of my favorite models in the 2020 Stablemate Club. Although that's hard to say because I actually liked the majority of the 2020 Stablemate Club models last year. I did also end up signing up for the 2021 Stablemate Club. So I'll be showing the Atticus model in another video whenever he arrives. 
And then here's Duke, who is still in his box, but I'll go ahead and unbox him right now with you guys. Oop, here he is, and he is also really cute. I really like this little guy. I actually just love the little miniature versions of traditional scale briar molds in general. And I really love that this is just a little mini Clydesdale stallion and he looks so cute. He does look like a vintage traditional scale release, which I will also put on screen so you can see the comparison of these two. He's got some really awesome resist dappling going on. Obviously a nice glossy finish as you can see by that beautiful shine. He also has a little gold tail ribbon and gold bobs in his mane. He's got a little bit of a pink muzzle and some black and white eyes. This particular eye on this side is looking a little, a little large. <laughs> he's seen some things. The other side looks a little bit less large, but I think he's very cute and I'm quite happy with him. I am glad I purchased him. And then here he is also with Cassidy. Kind of a fun little pair. A new mold with a modern color versus a little vintage mold, technically on a vintage style color. Very fun. Next up here, I'll show you the models I ordered around Valentine's Day for Briar's little Valentine's Day special, where if you ordered, I believe it was like $75 worth of stuff, you would get this cute little Valentine's Day plush for free. I regret not getting the like Valentine's Day and spring plush horses that they had in previous years. So I had to get this little one. I also do like that it has little zebra hearts on it. I think that's kind of neat, little zebra print hearts. And it's just another cute little addition to my little Briar plush collection. I did order another one of these guys, which we'll look at better in a minute. And also the traditional Black Beauty silver re-release model. I will show that better in a moment as well. And I also got one of these mini Winnie surprises and it's not too exciting. It's just the little kind of quarter horsey guy here, but he is very cute nonetheless. For the silver model, he came in one of these mail order like boxes. There you can get a little look at him. He does have variation in the shading in his color. He's not just a solid black. I don't know if you can see it as well. On my camera right now but he does have a lot of different kind of highlights going on and undertones and such in the paint he even kind of looks a little green for some reason in this current lighting i'm in he's got kind of like a little bit of a grayish greenish look going on but it might not really look like that on camera or outside in the sun and just right now it's looking kind of funky but he is very cool i'm really glad i got him he has the one little white sock on his leg and the star on his forehead and he is just very cute. But anyway, there is the black beauty on the silver mold. And then lastly for the sort of Valentine's Day haul is a model that might look kind of familiar because I actually did already show this model in a previous video. I believe it was my Christmas haul video. So I did order another one of these guys. I just now noticed they also have different boxes for some reason. Interesting. So you can see the one on the right has blue incorporated on the box design, whereas the one I just got here does not. The uh, back of the boxes are also different for some reason. wonder why they changed the box designs on there. But anyway, so yes, I did already get this one. But I got another one because of variations and I just love this model. And I will go ahead and actually unbox it in this video and show you the differences between these two. All right, so here are the two models and oh my goodness, they're just so gorgeous. So this is the one that I already had and then this is the one I got recently. I don't know if you can tell the variation right away, but the main variation between these two is that this newer one has a lot more blue on the plastic compared to this one. This one's like very clear as you can see on the tail there. Very clear tail. Whereas this one has a lot more blue going on on the tail. Try to show them side by side there. So that's kind of a fun variation going on. The newer one just has a lot more blue and like darker colors kind of going on in general. You can kind of see in the mane. The newer one here does have a lot more blue still compared to the other one. 
Their faces are kind of different as well. This guy's got a lot more kind of silver on his face. And the older one has a little less silver going on. So the new guy has a lot of really dark, dark points on his joints there. And in this one, the dark points are a lot less dramatic. So you can kind of see the differences between, between those two. Also, like the silver is different on these as well. This guy doesn't have as many spots like on the legs there. This one's got a lot more spots going on in the silver. I don't know. They got lots of, lots of fun little variations. I could probably look at them all day and compare them, honestly. On their other side, they do have a lot more of a variation when it comes to their spots. As you can see, the, this is the older one. This one has a lot more silver kind of going on. And the newer one's got a lot more blue, it looks like. So they are very fun, and I honestly probably wouldn't mind getting another one or two of these models if I come across like a really cool variation or something. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love this particular model. It's so gorgeous. Next up here, I have the glossy versions of Cheesecake and Benelie. I purchased these back during Briarfest 2020 on their store special backorder glossy thing they were doing. I don't know if I'm going to actually fully unbox these guys, but I will take off their top covering and compare them to their matte versions for you guys real quick. Ooh, this guy really smells, by the way. He smells like a very super new briar, plasticky, glossy smell to him. But there is the glossy Benelie. And then we have the matte one here as well. So there's kind of a side-by-side -side for them, but they look you know, pretty much the same. Just one is glossy and the other one is matte. Personally, I think I do like the matte one better overall. Just kind of a personal preference for me, but they are both really pretty. And the glossy one is very shiny, as you can see. But I don't think there's even like really any variations on these two to really talk about. But there is Glossy Benali, and I don't feel like completely unboxing him right now, so I'm sorry about that. Next here is Glossy Cheesecake, who I'm actually a little on the fence on whether or not I will be keeping him. I also have the matte version of this model, so I'm not sure yet on how I feel about the Glossy one, if I want to keep him for sure or not. Normally I would keep him, but I am really trying to downsize my collection and not keep the models that I don't really, really love which is very hard because I really, really love a lot of them. So I'm not 100% sure on him or not, like I said, if I'll keep him. However, his gloss does make the Cremello stuff on him really pop, and this one just kind of looks a little bit darker in general. You can really see his spots a lot more. Where on my matte one, it's a lot less prominent. You can't really tell the uh, creamy parts of him as easily compared to that glossy one where you can see them a lot better. So for that reason, I might end up keeping him anyway. I don't know, he does look quite a bit different compared to his matte version. The Benelli one looks pretty much the same overall, besides being a little bit glossy. But these guys, with how the color reacts to that gloss, it does look a little different. So he might be staying in my collection for now as well then. But there is Glossy Cheesecake. He is very pretty. Now the last models I have to show you in this video are two that I've been wanting for a while and then just never got because I was kind of expecting to get them during Briarfest. But since we didn't have Briarfest in person, I obviously couldn't do that. Since Briarfest wasn't in person again this year, I decided, you know what, I need to just buy these two models before they become hard to find or anything because I absolutely adore them. These are two of the Tractor Supply exclusive models from 2019. I do not have any tractor supply companies close to me really, and the one that is the closest to me does not carry briars. So I kind of have to usually get the tractor supply models either online or secondhand. So I ended up getting these two from eBay, and I'm so excited for them. I've just been really, really wanting them ever since they came out, and I am glad I went ahead and purchased them. I was going to like purchase them for my birthday or something, but I decided to just go ahead and purchase them as a whatever, treat yourself kind of thing. Now these two, I will be unboxing them in this video, so we'll get a better look at them. Here they are, and oh my gosh, I love them so much. They are so, so pretty. For some reason, these two models in particular, I just absolutely adore them. 
I love both their molds, and I love minimal Tobiano Pintos for some reason, which I think is part of the reason I really love her. And then I'm sometimes not a big fan of Blanket Appaloosas, but on certain colors or molds, I really like them. And this guy, I think his color and the mold and stuff does look really good. Here is the beautiful Stella. Oh my goodness, I love her. I also felt like I had to get her since my Star Stable Online name is Stella. She's got the really cute little patch of white in her mane and the little patch on her neck there. I like her face markings a lot. Those are really cute. Her color in general is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to say. Just that she is beautiful. I love the patch of white on her haunches. And I also really like her hooves. Her hooves are really cool. They actually do still have her horseshoes on there, but they didn't paint her horseshoes on. I don't really see that too much as a bad thing. I actually think it's kind of nice that they didn't give her horseshoes for a change. She kind of looks like she just has like extra growth or something going on in her hooves. But I do like her hoof color a lot for some reason. I think it's because it's this dark gray. She just looks awesome. I love the spots above her hooves. They look great. They're on all her hooves. She does have a VIN number on her stomach and a Made in China sticker, which I'm probably going to pull off right now, which is common for the Tractor Supply exclusive horses and Tractor Supply models in general. But, oh my gosh, I just love her so much. I am so very glad I got her because I was worried if I waited too long that she would end up being harder to find or a little bit more expensive or something. I ended up paying for her just like maybe slightly above the original cost she would have been directly from Tractor Supply, which is not a bad price to pay at all, I don't think. So I'm very, very, very pleased. She is just a stunning, beautiful model. And then we'll move on to talking about Haken now. So there is Haken. This guy is really cool. I just, again, I love his color. I think what I really like about his color too is he has the kind of lighter shading towards his belly. And then when you get up to the top, he has the darker shading. In general, I love it when models have like the lighter shading below and then the darker shading on top. I just think it looks so cool. I also do love his Appaloosa pattern. He is so pretty. I love his beautiful soft shading. It looks so pretty. His face also has a lot more shading than I realized because I think he was like this in the box. So I thought he had a lot lighter face, but on the other side of his face, he actually does have a lot more shading going on, which I really like. He's got like quite a bit of shading on the front of his face, which looks really cute. He also has those cute face markings, a nice little gray muzzle. His legs have dark shading and he has actually a bit of striping going on on his darker hooves there. I really like that touch. See his darker hooves? They got a little bit of a little bit of striping going on. That looks really nice. And then he has the one peach colored hoof. So very cool. And at the bottom, he also has a Made in China sticker, although he does not have his VIN number. Is his VIN, VIN number stuck somewhere else? Ah, yes, they put his VIN number on his hoof instead. And then they have a different, like, clear Made in China sticker on his belly. Stick that off, because I do not need that. Oh, he is so gorgeous. So there is the gorgeous Haken. I really like him. That is going to about do it for this video. Again, thank you so much to Sasha Ferris for sending me these amazing pictures. And don't forget to check out ferrishorses.com. Again, the link to our website and her social media will be in the description down below. So be sure to check out her amazing artwork. In the comments below, let me know if you've purchased any models in this year, 2021, or your most recent purchase. I love hearing what other models you guys have gotten too. Thank you for watching, stay safe, have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!